Today, we're gonna turn a car alternator into a welding machine. First, pop that back cover. Then we'll remove the rectifier and the voltage regulator off the alternator. One way to desolder the stator wires is to use a mini torch. This is a wire wound 30 ohm rheostat. We are gonna use it to control the rotor current. That way we control the magnetic field to get the voltage that we want. This is a 300 amps full bridge rectifier and I mounted the aluminum heat sink just to keep it cool. I'm using 3 amp 13.8 volt to manually control the rotor magnetic field. The positive goes to the middle of the rheostat. And the other side goes to the positive of the rotor brush. Then the ground connection goes back to the power source.
Here's a review of the setup. The motor is connected into the same extension cord as the 3 amp 13.8 volt power supply. The red pasta wire connects directly to the middle of the rheostat. And the black negative wire connects directly to the casing of the alternator. The rheostat gives us an option to supply how much voltage we want to send to the rotor. Which in turn give us the ability to control how much amperage and voltage we want from the alternator. The full bridge rectifier converts AC power to DC power supply. With the DC power, we use it to fix this metal shovel. And PPE is a must. This is my first time ever doing welding. I'm practicing off the camera so you, seasonal and professional welder, don't laugh at my amateur mistakes. Well, I suppose I can't hide. You'll see my results at the end. Looking at the amperage meter, the alternator is doing a superb job. <laughs> now you professional welders can laugh at my amateur results. And again, this was my first time welding. Well, if you made it this far, you are a mighty legend. Don't forget to hit that like button and thank you for watching.